Hello everyone, this is Carl Zoliborn, and today we are going to do one of the important skills that we need to learn in Karma Che, which is canning. But before we proceed to our canning, we are going to make first a very simple dish, which is a marmalade, a double citrus marmalade to be exact. Now it is important to learn canning because it is a safe method of preserving food. In canning, the food is placed in a jar and it is heated to a certain temperature in order to kill harmful microorganisms. Now before anything else, we should remember that we are wearing the complete and proper uniform. We shall be wearing our hairnet, our apron, and our rubber soled shoes. We should also have our kitchen towels with us. For men, we should be cleanly shaven, and of course, our nails should be creamed. In addition to that, we should always wash our hands first properly before handling food. So I shall wash my hands first, and then we shall pick it. Okay, I'm done washing my hands. Now without further ado, let's begin. Now the very first thing we have to do is do our mise en place as you can see here. So I have here my ingredients, my orange and my lemons, which I already washed. I also have here my cutting board, my chef's knife, my paring knife, the containers where I will put my finished cuts. And I also have here my trash bowl. So what are we all waiting for? Let's begin. All you have to do is follow along. Now let's move on to our lemon. Now we're done with our lemon peel. Let's move on to getting the segment or the meat of our orange and lemons. Now that we are done with preparing our ingredients, we're now going to do everything on heat. So again, we have to do first our mise en place. So I've prepared here all the ingredients. So I have here the peels of the lemons and the orange, the segment or the meat of the orange and the lemons. I also have here about one cup of white sugar. Of course, we'll also be needing water. The first thing to do is we're going to add about 2 cups of water into our pot. And we're going to wait for the water to simmer before we add in our peels. Now that our water is already simmering, we can now add in our peels. So we are going to cook our peels until they become translucent and they no longer taste bitter. Also, we don't have to cover our pills when they are being cooked. So let's try to taste them if they no longer taste bitter. So we can now add in our meats or our segment that we got from our orange and from our lemons. So again, we're going to wait for it to toughen and to be translucent again. So now that it has become soft and translucent, we can now lower down the heat and we can now add in our sugar. We're also going to add about 1 8 cup of water. So we are now going to wait for it to simmer and again, we don't have to cover it. So now that it's simmering and we have achieved the desired consistency, which is that's thinner and the taste is actually good we can now turn off the heat and we can now transfer it into our bowl so we should allow it to cool down first before we start canning now that our marmalade is cooled down we can now do our canning specifically using the boiling water method 
But since I'm canning my marmalade, I decided that I'll can my apple butter too. Maybe in another video, I'll show you how to make an apple butter. In our canning, we'll be needing a pot, or better if you have a canner. Then we'll also be needing a rock, or a cake cooling rock, or a canning rack. Or if you don't have any of those, you can use thick towel. We'll also be needing canning tongs, but since we don't have canning tongs, we'll be using regular tongs. Of course, we should make sure that we're going to use them very carefully. Then we also have a wooden chopstick that we'll use as a bubble tool. We'll also be needing a heat-proof bowl. Of course, we also need our canning jars or mason jars. And last but not least, we have our cold water. Now that everything's set, we shall now begin. All you have to do is follow along. We're going to wait for the water to boil and then we'll proceed to our next step. So the water is now boiling, we can now turn off the heat and remove our mason jars. After the mason jars are removed from heat, we can now fill them with our gems. Our mason jars are now filled with the gems, so we can now boil them. The water is now boiling, so we can now set our timer to 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, we shall remove the mason jars from the heat. Our 10 minute timer has finished, so we've already turned off our heat and we're just going to let our mason jars sit in the heated water for about 5 minutes. It's already been 5 minutes, so now we can take out our mason jars from the heated water. So we're going to let our mason jars sit on top of our towel for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, remember that as we open them, they should have a popping sound. When they have a popping sound, that means that we've done our canning correctly. And that's it. We're done. I hope you've learned something from my demonstration. I also hope that you'll enjoy cooking your marmalade and doing your canning as much as I did. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!